Hey, what's up, Slunts? Joker here, and I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend thus far, bringing back the old school intro there just uh, temporarily. I had I saw a bunch of requests, people saying, do your old school intro where I say, hey, what's up, Slunts? So I figured I'd give you guys a treat for you old school fans, uh, at least on this video, but, you know, don't get used to it. I don't think we're going to be doing it uh, all that much in the future because it can rub some people the wrong way, and sometimes people don't even know what I'm saying. They're like, did he just call us sluts? No, I didn't. And now I'm demonetized. But getting on to things today, we are going to be covering a few news topics in the world of PC gaming and gaming hardware. First up, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA, who has teased the announcement of Ampere GPUs for GTC, which is going to be happening in just a couple of weeks. And we've also got a hotfix driver from NVIDIA, which may address some issues you guys could have been seeing out there. And also, I'll be giving you some details on a free retro game, which you guys can get right now. But first, today's video is brought to you by MMORC.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro, which you can get for just $15, as well as Office 2019 Pro and Office 365. And if you act right now, you can get an additional 27% off with my code JOK27 at checkout, and that'll knock the price down on Windows 10 Pro from $15.29 all the way down to $11.16. And of course, they accept a wide variety of payment from PayPal to credit cards to Bitcoin. So be sure to act now and hit up the links down in the description below. So first up, let's talk about that NVIDIA news with them teasing the upcoming lineup of GPUs, the next ones in the RTX family of cards. Following up Turing, it looks like we are now have confirmation pretty much of the Ampere GPUs, which have been uh, kicked around as a rumor for like the last two years before Turing was actually released. Um, we thought that maybe we were going to see Amp the, the Ampere name was uh, thrown around as a possible one that was going to be that lineup of graphics cards, and some people thought the Turing cards were going to be mining cards or vice versa. But now with NVIDIA talking about Ampere and basically uh, saying get amped for their GTC announcement on May the 14th, it is pretty much all but confirmed that Ampere is real, it is coming, and that we will get the full details in just a couple of weeks. So let's shoot over to uh, videocards.com where they have the full press release which was posted by NVIDIA on their news channels where you can see the title is get amped for the latest platform breakthroughs in AI, deep learning, autonomous vehicles, robotics, and professional graphics. And obviously with the first two lines, the first two words there being get amped, that pretty much all but confirms, like I said, uh, Ampere being the name for the next architecture uh, in the RTX family from NVIDIA GeForce. And this was from yesterday, April 24, 2020. The full press release, release full press release reads as this, NVIDIA will release its GTC 2020 keynote address featuring founder and CEO Jensen Huang on YouTube on May the 14th at 6 a.m. Pacific time, that's 9 a.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. in the UK GMT, uh, if you happen to be over there and you can figure out your time zone based on those. Uh, Huang will highlight the company's latest innovations in AI, high performance computing, data science, autonomous machines, healthcare, and graphics during the recorded keynote, and participants will be able to view the keynote on demand on the NVIDIA YouTube channel. So it does not appear that this is going to be a live stream, but rather than they will just be uploading it afterwards. And that all kind of makes sense as this was actually delayed, this event, which was supposed to happen back on March 23rd, as they even say here, this was originally scheduled for March 23rd. The GTC 2020 keynote was postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. NVIDIA moved the conference online where the GTC digital event has attracted more than 45,000 registered attendees who have participated in 300 recorded talks and dozens of instructor-led sessions. Announcements included in the keynote will be posted on nvidianews.nvidia.com. So that's really all the information we have right now for the upcoming lineup of Ampere GPUs. No specs, no price, no release date. Um, we have no idea what the lineup is going to look like or the pricing and stuff. But let me know what you're excited to see in the Ampere GPUs coming up. Obviously, something like a 2180 Ti or a 3080 Ti would certainly butter my bread as I am looking to get a boost 
uh, in 4K gaming performance, and hopefully, fingers crossed, these things offer a nice bump up in terms of frame rates for 4K gaming and ray tracing performance also, how many RT cores and tensor cores. These are all questions that I would personally like to see answered, but let me know down in the comments below what you're most interested in Ampere, which GPU in the lineup are you looking forward to seeing the most, and what do you think the pricing is going to be on these cards? Do you think they're going to stick with like the $1,200 top end or maybe bring things down to a more reasonable level. We'll just have to wait and see on May the 14th, so not much longer to go about two weeks from now, and of course I'll be covering that on the channel as soon as we have more information, and I'm sure between now and then, I'm sure we'll see plenty of leaks and rumors coming about as we get closer to that date, which are more likely to be accurate as it is coming so very soon in the very near future. Continuing along with NVIDIA, I just briefly wanted to mention for people a hotfix driver which is available now that you can download over on the NVIDIA website. This hotfix driver is numbered 445.98 and it is going to be bringing some stability and critical HDR fixes for NVIDIA GeForce GPUs. The full patch notes list these issues as being addressed directly. The notebooks with Maxwell generation GPUs may experience higher GPU utilization during gameplay leading to reduced battery life and higher temperatures. Fixed an issue where the shader cache was sometimes incorrectly purged on an app launch, which I think maybe I might have experienced on Call of Duty Modern Warfare because I have seen my shaders reinstalling on that game. They didn't mention any title specifically, so it's a possibility that could have been why that was happening. Some games may appear very bright when HDR is enabled. That is something I've, I've experienced on multiple titles. So hopefully this hotfix driver does go ahead and address that. Haven't had a chance to download it yet, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, F1 2019, the game may randomly crash to the desktop. Overwatch, it has improvements for game stability, and it fixed driver installation issues on the colorful GeForce GTX 1650 which is a very specific fix for a very specific GPU. So if you happen to be using a colorful GTX 1650 and you're having issues installing drivers, this hotfix should address that for you. If you are one of those few people out there with that card, let us know down in the comments below if the hotfix driver is working for you. I'll have links to all the sources and everything down in the description. You can get the link over to the NVIDIA websites where you can grab it. You do have to get this download uh, manually. It's not going to show up in um, the GeForce experience, for example, as something that you need to download since it is a hotfix driver and it's only going to address issues for um, a small subset of people that may be experiencing on the issues um, that we just went over. And I'm sure these fixes will also be rolled into the next Wickle driver whenever NVIDIA uh, happens to roll those out. Next up, I quickly wanted to mention a free game that you can grab over on Steam right now. It is going to be free to own completely between now and May 10th. So if you grab it anytime between now and May 10th, it's going to be yours to own forever. And that game is Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, which uh, looks actually pretty easy. And I haven't played a Pac-Man game in years, but I definitely went over, since it's free, I went over there and grabbed it. And I'll, you know, I'll give it a dabble and try it out and see how it is. It was about a two gigabyte download, so nothing, you know, really huge. But hey, if you've not played a Pac-Man game in a while, or maybe you never played a Pac-Man game, you might want to go ahead and grab uh, this Championship Edition 2 of Pac-Man, which looks pretty nice as far as, you know, a Pac-Man game is concerned, I guess. <laughs> so I'll definitely give it a try. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. On all the news topics that we covered here today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here and enjoy the rest of my weekend, and I hope you guys do as well. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're not already. If you've been here for a while, maybe ring the bell. That way you don't miss a single video as soon as it goes up live on the channel. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Tara. Right.